All right. Hi, Capricorn. Welcome to your monthly reading for the month of June. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this doesn't resonate, if this reading doesn't resonate with you for some reason, um, check your other signs and see if those do. So yeah, we're going to get started with Capricorn's reading for June. So first, I'm going to start with the energy for June, the highest energy for June. All right, two of pentacles reversed. <laughs> um, all right, so I feel like this month you might feel out of balance. Um, I have this card for another sign, I forget which one, but I feel like you know, things just won't be um, balanced, I guess. I mean, you're your work, your work life, your love life, your home life, your work life, you know, just two things in your life are out of balance. Or maybe you're having a hard time making a choice between two things. But I feel like with Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, you're going to eventually make a choice. And, you know, you might get communication you know, um, like so you learn, well, someone tells you something about one of your options, like whether it's between two jobs, two people, like you possibly like gossip or something, like you hear something about one of the two people or one of the two jobs that makes you able to make a decision. So yeah, but if there is no decision that you're making, you might just feel a little off balance this month. Um, like you're trying to juggle, you know, too many things at once, maybe. So, yeah, that's your energy for this month. Now, um, the biggest problem that you'll face this month. Um, alright, <laughs> so I'm guessing it has something to do with love or money. Because Ace of Cups reversed and Ten of Pentacles reversed. Um, I feel like maybe you might be feeling a bit of unrequited love this month, maybe. Um, like someone that you thought you were going to be with, you know, it turns out you're not going to be with them. That you're, you feel like they don't feel the same way about you. And, you know, the feelings aren't, the feeling isn't mutual, maybe. Or you could be having problems with money this month. Um, maybe you thought you'd get, like, a new amazing job. And turns out it wasn't an amazing, it wasn't an amazing job. Or just not working out with, for you. You also might be dealing with like overflowing emotions. Your emotions might be running very high this month. So, yeah, you might be feeling also unstable. I already said that with two of pentacles reverse, you know, a little out of balance. You know, that might be a huge problem for you this month is feeling like you don't have your money in order or you feel like your love life is not in order, you know, just something in your life is not working out the way that you want it to. Alright, and now on to some advice. Alright, advice for this month. Three major arcana cards. Interesting. <laughs> um the devil the star and justice reversed all right so for advice right off the bat i'm saying i'm hearing be fair um be diplomatic do not um you might be going through a divorce maybe with the devil here from someone who was toxic for you someone who was bad for you and in that case just you know play fairly don't um 
don't lie or like I don't know just be be honest because it's not gonna work out for you if you're not honest um with the devil here I would feel like I feel like um it goes with justice reversed you know just be honest um if maybe if you like if you think someone is toxic for you um be honest with yourself and you'll admit that admit that they're toxic for you admit that it didn't work out for a reason like the or maybe the job you know you know the job didn't work out for a reason and just you know accept that and but definitely remain positive through like whatever imbalances you're experiencing and whatever you know hurt you might have felt from a person or you know just be positive because the star says that things are definitely going to get better for you in June so you know stay positive um try not to you know have negative feelings and you know just be honest with yourself and with others um so yeah that's what I'm feeling for advice and now something positive to look forward to this month Page of Cups and Five of Swords. Alright, so this month, I feel like you might be getting an offer of love. Um, this person might be a water sign or an air sign. So, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Um, and I feel like also you will feel like you won in some way. Um, I feel like immediately what I felt is maybe since this could be an offer of love or it, it could be a job offer from someone if you have been having issues with money you're going to receive an some kind of offer that you're going to love that you're going well you might <laughs> love um but you'll definitely you'll be receiving a message of love or a job offer or something and I feel like you were going to feel like you won in some way. Like maybe if it was a job, um, you're going to feel like you are, you're going to be really happy about getting this job because maybe it was very competitive, like a competitive job. Like a lot of people wanted this job and you're going to get it and you're going to feel really happy about that. Or if this is an offer of love from someone, like a message of love, you're going to feel like you won in some way because maybe there were multiple people that um, this person might have been um, like this person might have had multiple options and then they chose you and so you're going to be happy about that and with Wheel of Fortune on the bottom Wheel of Fortune have, has been coming up a lot in these June readings so I feel like um destiny fate you know whatever it's definitely playing a role in the situation like whoever like whatever job or whatever person offers you this message of love or this job opportunity I feel like it was meant to be because you know will fortune it was destined and they're probably going to be very happy about it. So, yes. Um, there you go. There was your monthly reading for June. Thank you for watching.